Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to the Art So Wonderful show. So I'm Bruce Wilson, uh, director and general partner of Art So Wonderful. And I'm telling you, we have a lot, a lot to talk about here. Basically, me, understand, now and then I give out these reports about um, what we're doing in, by myself. And so I'm happy to do so today. So, wow, man. So here we go. So Art So Wonderful has been doing a lot this year um we were um we created for juneteenth event a mural that's on um thorson lane um right there by x place was right on x place building and um right now up the alley through um red square and so the um city of burlington and our racial equity inclusion and belonging sponsored this event for us and over 61% of, not 61%, but over 61 people came out to be a part of this mural. And it's incredible. I mean, you know, you have to go up to Thorson Lane and see that mural is about freedom from uh, um, from slavery. And, um, and so many people came out to um, put a little hit on the wall. And I'm so happy that that happened. And so it's a, it's a beautiful mural. And um and it's gonna be there forever, you know, until we change it. And so um up Thorson Lane, one of our um sponsors, Handy Properties on on the Free Press building, the old old free press building. And it goes all the way around from primarily from I guess that would be Church Street or Thorson Lane, all the way around out to College Street. How incredible was that? Um, well, it don't go as far as co um, to College Street, but Tail Feathers, which is a um, business there on the corner, we're, we're going to put a mural there too. So, so Art So Wonderful, actually, um, all the murals around Thornton Lane on Free Press Building are Art So Wonderful. It's called Thor Art So Wonderful in Thorsten Lane. <laughs> and so it's incredible. Um, it's a lot of murals that's been, um, you know, put up there now. It's so incredible. It's so nice. It used to be graffiti, like really nasty graffiti on those walls, as you probably would know. People would be scared to walk down that alley because, like, they like, damn, you know, it's all nasty. It's like, what could happen to me, you know? grimy alley like what could happen to you in a grimy alley anywhere in america you know so uh, same same you know but now all these beautiful murals is going up all the way around there and we just did one last week by david um and um wow it's beautiful helic um famous artists in burma I just did one around there and now uh, we have um other artists who've done some um, art on that wall. And I'm very happy and proud to say Sarah Holbrook Youth put a mural up there and it was their, their last art program since their building closed. You know, I'm so sad about Sarah Holbrook's closing right now because I am, a, by profession, a youth service provider. You know, a lot of you don't know this, but... Um, Bruce Wilson opened up probably around six youth centers and we have opened up in every large mall across the state, including Fairhaven um, called Loft 89 and in Winooski called the Underground Youth Center. And then they moved from, it was called the Underground because it was underneath Champlain Mill. And then we moved to um, O'Brien Center, where we kept the name Underground. <laughs> but it's not there no more. But I got a, a little bit later in this program, I'm going to talk to you about what we're doing with youth centers. Um, but also, fair, the Loft 89 uh, mural was created um, by Catherton University and youth around that region. They liked the idea of what we did for, at the Diamond Run Mall 
Chill Out Center, and the Chill Out Center um, was like all the rest of the other names of our new centers in Burlington Mall at the time, University Mall, and um, they were all called the Chill Out Center. So we just kept the name. But anyways, I mean, um, we didn't keep the name. We chose a different name. But Loft, we kept the model, which I'm, I'm trying to say. Loft 89 came from, because the city of Fairhaven gave us a, um, a space above their city hall. Within their space, they had um, the police. They had, um, what else they have in there? Um, city, you know, this is city hall stuff, clerk's office and blah, blah, blah. But up top over their building, inside their building, up like a third, fourth floor, whatever, they had this um gymnasium. It looked like back in the 50s or 40s. So it was like, wow, that could be something else. And so they gave us that space. And, um, you know, who would think that a gymnasium would be on, like, on the third or fourth floor anyways? But it was a cool space. But our youth said, man, listen, we ain't trying to be around the police, or we're not trying to be in a, you know, building like this. And it's kind of decrepit up there. It was kind of, you know, a lot of work. It took a lot of, it was going to take a lot of work. So what we did was um, found a space around um, Fairhaven Park, that historic Fairhaven Park, with all those incredible redwood trees and all that. If you have never been to Fairwood Park, go to Fair Haven, Fair Haven, Haven Park, sorry. It's so incredible. It's got mansions all around it. It's like, wow, so unique. And so we found a 89 Main Street. And so they named it because of the, um, because of the um, space in the city hall. We called it a. It was a loft. It was like a loft, and so the address on um on the main street was eighty nine. So they called it Loft eighty nine, which was cool. All our youth centers, um, the living rooms, and all were named by youth and um community, and so that's how we got the name. You know, quite frankly, I didn't name none of them, but I it wasn't my job to name them because all my job was to provide a service where youth and families could come. And enjoy themselves and be have a healthy outlet. We charge absolutely nothing, zero dollars to be in our space unless we like having a dance or something like that, you know. Try to raise some money for continue the work we do in the community. But so now, um, art so wonderful, wow, evolved because when our youth board said, listen. We tired of these youth center. We, you know, we older now. We need to do something what we inspire, like art. So in two thousand three, we well, I we we closed our art galleries in two two thousand ten. Was the last time we two thousand ten, maybe a little later in two thousand ten. But two thousand three, we opened up Art So Wonderful, and Art So Wonderful became like incredible place where people can um, come do murals. Um, have art events and, um, you know, showcase their talent in public spaces. And so in 2010, we created, that's what we did, created Art So Wonderful Electric Boxes. All those electric boxes you see around everywhere is, is to, it was created by Art So Wonderful. And our partners, and like in South Burlington and other places, um, we let them, they jumped on board, you know, we let them like take our over, our, not take over or anything, but to um, showcase, give our gifts, give individual individuals an opportunity to put their art in public spaces where normally they don't have a chance to do so. And look how beautiful those boxes are all around this dang on state. Well, around primarily around Tennessee County. Oh God, people have some imagination, and that's what I want to do. Now that's one thing I did create. Because one day I was standing next to an electrical box, and it was on. Um, actually, this box was on Burlington, right on South Winooski Avenue and Bank Street, right behind Handy Service Center. And it was pitiful. It had all kind of graffiti over it, and it also had um, like 
announcements on it, like, yo, come to Bruce's party and da da da, you know, this type of stuff. It was ugly, pitiful. <clears throat> so I thought, wow, wouldn't it be nice if we can paint these boxes and, um, and, and, um, and this beautify them. So when people look at them, they can say, wow, they make it feel good too, you know? And so that's what I did. So I created, I had to go to, um, Burlington Electric Company, talk to him about the boxes. And um, when I saw put murals on on these, they made um, I had to go to um, national planning associations and talk to city council. I had to go through so much to do this to do that, you know. And I told him in my work and my studies in two thousand and one that if you put murals over graffiti, they, they graffiti vandals or whatever how you want to call them, you used to honor them. And they, um, it's like a code of ethics where they honor them and they don't bomb what they call bomb the wall. And so, and primarily, and, and it works, you know, pretty much, you know, you know, the it really works. Arts are wonderful on 60 over 60 percent of the murals in Burlington. Electrical boxes is all through our project and many, um, um, like arts are like so our partners in South Burlington do a lot. And we do have them in a Rutland. We have them in um, our boxes are in Rutland and um, St. Albans. When you ski, we have I saw one of our boxes in everywhere. And so when you see those cool electrical boxes, look how nice they look. And you know, we get these arts opportunities to showcase their talents. And you know, the good thing about that as well is that they can put um art on these boxes. And be able to put it on their um, resume, be able to go put it on their um, school application, arts application, and say, look at my box, it's right downtown Burlington, or where the heck it is, and get into a college program. Um, and so, um, you know, press put on their press kit in case they might want to try to get a commission from some some type of business to do some, some type of art like that. And so it helps out in those ways too. And that's probably one of some of the biggest ways to why uh, some of the biggest ways that it helps. And so I'm so happy that we did that, and we continue to do them. If you go to um, where we started at South Winooski Avenue and Bank Street, right there on the corner diagonal to City Market, you'll see a brand new one there. That's so so nice, so cool. Casey Clark and hell mother. And her kids did that, man. It's so nice, man. You got to go check it. It's like uh, right there on South Lucy Avenue on Bank Street, right on the corner. Boom. Beautiful box, you know. So nice. And then we just, and before that, we did one in Winooski, Rotary Park. The Rotary Park one is right there, right in the middle. Um, and, and we did that with uh, Howard Center. Oh, God, I have four artists. Man, I was out there. They had that, they had uh they go, these artists are something else, man. They're out there, and it's a four-way box, you know, four, four sides, and so four different artists would work on a side. Oh, go to the Winooski Rotary Park. Look at that box. Wow, something else, man. And then we got them in the Lincoln, um, Lincoln, what's the park in um, Taylor Park? Taylor Park in uh, St. Albans. Wow, so nice, man. So, you know, I'm not, believe it or not, I am not an artist. I'm not a musician either. But we have over 50 awards and we've done over 700 events. And that's so cool, man. And so I'm excited that what, you know, I'm the founder of these programs with the help of me that we are able to do these programs. Arts So Wonderful, look it up, artssowonderful.com. But wow, man. So we continue to do it. So now, the big deal is throw some way art so wonderful um alley. That's what we're working on now. And we we're taking we're um taking on um any artists, muralists who just want to put some a lick on the wall. And I mean, like, you know, you know, you know, I'm not an artist, I, you know, I'm not an artist at all. <clears throat> but I tell you this, it's so funny. Um, my artists are muralists, they say, Bruce, we want you to do something. And I know what the hell they're talking about. They're like, wow, nobody can do this job better than you. 
And I'm like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we want you to go out and prime this wall or prime this bar. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, you know, yeah, I feel good at that. And so, you know, so that's what I do. I prime the wall or I prime the box or whatever the heck it is, wherever they, wherever they tell me to go. So I do that. I take pride in this painting the box, paint over it blue or whatever the hell they color they tell me to do it. And I've been doing it for years. Now, check this out. Wow, man. Now, you've probably seen it. Well, let's start off on the one. Um, or let's start off on um, Pearl Street Beverage. Wow. We just did that one with um, Ant Hill Collectives Above the Radar. Um, are so wonderful. We had like 14 or so um, muralists from around the country come and, and do this mural. If you go down Union Street, and um, yeah, Union Street, Burlington, oh, on Pearl Street Beverage. Look at that mural. Whoa. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow. It's all uh, spray painted. I mean, no, only thing is, only is painted was the primary, priming it over with um, paint to you know, put a spray paint. But wow, man. Check out that mural all the way around to from Union Street to the backside. It's so awesome. I was out there sitting on the porch with somebody's porch across the street, just watching it every day. You know, in this case, um, we had to um somebody had any questions and they could talk to me because primarily I'm the I'm the person in charge. But anyways, whoa, wow. Every time I go past there, I got to stop and look at it. It's so nice, man. That meal is tight. Oh, came with you another one of those. And we got another one we're gonna do. Ha ha. Not far from not far from there. It's gonna be nice. I mean, you know, not now, but soon. And on the other side of Pearl Street Beverage, we did that one some years ago. And um, it's a dedication to our essential workers. Like you see a doctor. You know, lawyers, you know, all these cool people up on the wall. And um and it's it's saying that, you know, our you know, state, keep your faith about life because it's about COVID nineteen, the uh, individuals who helped us stay alive and helped us who put their um life in danger fighting this uh, virus for us. You know, how good was that? You gotta you gotta you gotta admire that, you know. And so, wow, so nice. That wall is gigantic, but from front to back, I mean, from, you know, from the beginning to the end on the side, and many people have seen that mural. And you'll see our logo and everything on ASW, Art so wonderful. Um, so nice, man. And so we love that mural, dedication to our essential workers. And what well, we had, like, I don't know, Mm -hmm. 15, 20 volunteers helping us do that. And artists, they enjoyed it so much. And um, you, every time I go by there, I always see somebody standing there taking a picture in front of it. But, and they always um, just um, it's, um, enjoying it. So if um, any of you, um, all of you should go check it out who listen to our show. You should go check out that mural. And a new one on the Pearl Union Street side. Wow, man, that is so nice. The colors are brilliant. They use spray paint. They sprayed the whole damn thing. It was no, it's no paint on us since the first coat, which was our prime coat. Wow, so nice, so nice. Now here's a mural that you know norm normally don't see unless some. Um, I hate to call these guys vandals because what they are when you don't ask permission to do a mural. Then you're a vandal, you know. And so all you got to do is get what art so wonderful. You're not a vandal no more. We can do it anywhere you want to. And here's the proof. We have a mural right across the street from Burlington City Hall, right on the rooftop. There's a guy swinging, swinging in a hammock playing his guitar. That was so nice. <laughs> oh, man. The mirrors, both mirrors, or well, with Miro, we did it with Miro. It was an awful, like, he was for years. He used to look out his window and see that crappy graffiti, and he's so happy to see that mural we put up there. 
it's, it's the side of a whole building. And same with uh, Mira Emma. She likes it too. And so, so we have murals going on. This year, we're going to have murals going on rooftops all down Church Street Marketplace. And uh, one of our sponsors is uh, Burlington Business Association, um, Kelly Devine, who's an awesome person. Um, give us opportunities to to do this work up up top on the roof is on the roof the roof is on the roof. <laughs> but anyways, um, so man, I just love to see our art every going up everywhere. You know, and it's not about me. Well, art's so wonderful. It's about us helping people with their goals, their dreams, and aspirations in art. And that's how we do. We have over fifty awards for doing it in many areas. You know, and so I'm so happy. To that we're doing that work and um, people are um, really having a great time doing it. You know, and they get to go down there and show that they're sending it to. You can send a link to anywhere in the world to any person you know. So look what I did, blah blah blah. For Juneteenth event, look at that for Juneteenth. Oh, here's a little something in between Juneteenth award. Celebration of freedom in our country for people who look like me. Um, the city of Burlington gave me a, a big old award. Oh man, me award, man, it was so awesome! You know, I was like in City Hall Park when it was announcing that all the big entertainment they were doing. You know, and then I was up there and you know, director Pitt. The director of racial equity, inclusion, and belonging, and gave me that award. And Louis Cauldron, who's my friend and own um, Santiago restaurant, go to Santiago's, everybody, eat some of that good food. Um, invited me up to get that award, man. I still got it. I'm gonna guess where I'm gonna put it at. I still got. I, I, Guess what? I, I, I still got it. I don't have it forever. But guess what? I'm going to put this award. Oh, God. I know exactly where I'm going to put the award. The award is going to our new Winooski Usator. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, baby, you guys didn't know about that. I know you didn't. I know you didn't, but you will know. Winooski, um, new Houston, it's 94 Canal Street. In Winooski. It used to be um what was the name of that school? Oh, I can't think of the name of the school. But it was not it's 94 um Canal Street. And um what an incredible thing. It's gonna be fitness. It's for youth and families. Fitness, you know, a lot of fitness. I'm gonna have a boxing ring in there. And we're gonna have like um Events, dance events, open mic, poetry slams. Man, you call it. We got a kitchen in there. We got food in there. Man, and I'm one of the board of directors as well. <clears throat> so uh, our um, soft opening is November 2nd. God, I think it's from uh, uh, noon to 4 p.m. Come enjoy it. Um Winooski Center, 94 Canal Street. And it's going to be a soft opening where you come and check out and um, have some food and refreshments and have to see some exhibitions and things that we're going to do there. Yeah. Oh, I tell you this, boy. Wow. We've done some work in that place. We took down some stuff. We ripped up some floors. We... We did so much. We painted the whole place. It's incredible how the work that's been done there. Um, Lowe's, um, Lowe's Center brought a team out there to help us. We had Youth Bill Burlington out there helping us on a community service day. I was there pulling up floors and painting and all kind of cool things, but I'm gonna drive by there to I mean ride by there. I'm gonna get on my bike and ride by there today and see what's good, see how where we're at. I know we're probably almost there. 
and um, go there and hang out like I do. I got an office in there, guys. Woo! Bam! Wow. So that's where my award is going. <laughs> yeah, baby. My award is going right in my office there at the youth center. Because I was like, well, I'm going to put this award at. You know, we have over 50 awards that are so wonderful. And I mean, you know, service rendered and, you know, all our war straight talk come on, the United Cons Club, a lot of all the programs that underneath um, my organization. We have a lot of awards, you know. I probably have like about um, eight of them. <clears throat> and, I, you know, I'm, it's, I guess I'm a very kind of humble type of guy. I don't necessarily like trying to show off nothing because all the work I do is serve people. All I do, I'm the, I'm the best I am. So I serve people. And so this award was special, you know, because it's, it, it, um, it's, um, it's about it's, um, ending slavery. You know, it's Juneteenth Award. Wow. I cannot wait to put this award in that office. You know, I, I'm going to do it too. Yeah. So just so you know, like I said, a little bit about me. I always try to um, um, make sure that uh, people know about what I'm doing and what's going on. Now, so a lot of you guys probably didn't know this, but I'm going to go over a little thing about me. Okay, I've been in Vermont since 89. You know, I said I'm also, the governor appointed me to... Um, I'm Vermont Human Rights Commissioner for the state of Vermont. I sit on um, Vermont, Governor put me up to Vermont Mental Health. I sit on that one. I'm on the wastewater, I mean, Clearwater, Clearwater Board. I'm on the Climate Council Board, just transition. I sit on um, the Tennessee County Regional Planning Commission Board, as well as their Equity Advisory Committee. Um, Green Mountain Transit, Justice, Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion. Um, well, I better get them all. Um, uh, you know, I I'm, I can't think of all the boards I sit on, or commissions I sit on, but I do it because all I do is serve people, you know, and I'm happy to do it. Um, you know, and so I'm thankful that people look at me and say, you know, Bruce, you should be on this board or commission or advisory or committee, whatever the hell it is, because um, you have some value in helping us make some decisions on some of the worth of who we are, you know. And so I accept because a couple of reasons. Because um, I want to learn and keep getting better. I want to share with others how to find alternatives to like um, risky behaviors or, or you know, um, not necessarily risky behavior, but just find ways to get better in life. Um, on Chinook County Regional Planning Commission, I represent housing, social, and economic. So I'm the, I, I represent 19 municipalities. And so and this is probably one of the biggest boards I sit on. It's and um, as well as um, the Human Rights Commission. I'm a commissioner, guys. Just call me, you know, the, I'm not going to feel bad if you call me Commissioner Wilson. Don't You can call me that, you know, it's all right. <laughs> I don't go around telling people to call me Commissioner Wilson, you know, because, you know, I, you know a lot of people don't know I'm a commissioner, but I also, I let them know that I'm a commissioner because if I have to help them with something, or I can guide them to a, one of our incredible team, like Big Hartman, our, our executive director, and all our litigators and senior staff, Mitch. And um, wow, we have an incredible team in Montpelier. And every month I go there to visit them and um, hear um, cases and um, make good decisions about how to help people with their goals in life. And, and we do that all day. That's all we do is help people with their challenges and, you know, and cases, you know, things that they feel is not right. That's what a Human Rights Commission is. Look us up, Human Rights Commission. Uh, 
uh, and you will see us. Just look up Vermont Human Rights Commission. And you will see, you know, you'll see some stuff about me. You'll see some about what we do. Blah blah blah. I it's just not going like that. I think I'm on three years now. I've been on that. You know, I'm also on. I don't sit on um. <clears throat> what else you sit on, boy? Um. Uh, the human uh, shame of commerce. I'm on the shame of commerce. You know, I I work with them, and the goal is to learn, continue to get better, help businesses with their goals. Will help business. Um, I guess more like a tie a synergy. You know, to be I mean, being proactive and collaborate with each other to help them learn more about each other and how they can work together. I think that's what we do there the most. And um, Kat, Catherine, Kathy is our, our leader. And she is a great leader. And so um, I know I sit on like some other committees and whatever, and I'm proud to be on them. And because I, I go to these meetings, like all that's all I do is go to meetings, and um, that's all I do, and and I'm glad to be there because you know let's talk about it a little bit. You know, this art's so wonderful show, but still, a lot of people didn't know that I opened up all those youth centers in the morning. You know, primarily around six. A lot of people just didn't know that it was a person who looked like me, and I don't go around telling people that it was a person who looked like me who did this. You know, um. But the thing is that there is a person who looked like me who done who doing all this, you know, in the state of Vermont. And it's a white state of America when I got here, 89. And it still is a white state of America. And um and um and so it's all right in the white state of America. I'm not not to know about it. You know, I look obviously yeah, if I didn't love white people, I wouldn't be in Vermont since eighty nine, you know. But I raised my kids here. In Vermont, they love it. They love it here, and um, you know, they back to what they're doing. You know, they always visit here and do things. You know, but um, you know, that's ups and downs and turnarounds in my life here in, in Vermont and all kind of cool things, I mean, bad things, and you know, not necessarily. I don't look at nothing was bad. I look at what's good because if you can't find what's good about something, what you what seems to be bad, then there's something wrong with it. But let me just say another thing too. Like, we want everybody to be a part of Art So Wonderful. You know, Arts So A R T S Arts S O Wonderful dot com, and be a part of what we do. We need volunteers. We need supplies. We need muralists. We need artists. But well, man, listen. We are so happy to be able to do this work around Vermont. So beautiful, more beautiful. We make it more, we make, I'm so wonderful, make it more beautiful. We are not better than nobody, but we are in, we are a leader. Nobody, we have over 60% of the murals in Burlington. Nobody have done more in arts and public spaces than us. You know, nobody worked with them. We worked with UVM, St. Mines, Johnson, St. Plain, Norris, Cassidy, Middlebury, DCB, all these colleges, you know, for years, since 1999, United College Club to help them, college students, with their goals and aspirations. And, and, and so we've done a lot, you know, Straight Talk Vermont. It's a program that went, that taught kind of program to primarily to Chittenden County Regional uh, Virginia County and Dale, Marvel Valley, St. Albans. We talked straight talk about a very popular, popular program. It got to do with thinking errors and patterns in conflict resolution exercises and drug and alcohol evaluations. And you try to help people get better. A lot of individuals have come out of our programs and be able to get to the distance house, Mandela House, Sanctuary House be community um, members again. We still offer community service opportunities. Youth, well, individuals are youth to me. Individuals still work with Arts So Wonderful to fulfill their community service opportunity. And so how good is that, you know? 
And they come and do um clean up some graffiti, you know, paint over it or something, and they come back out and you know, work with the muralists or whoever they ain't working with. And we don't do no crappy job. I the same job any community service person gotta do, I'm do it with them. You know, that's part because I believe in restorative justice. I'm a founding member of the community justice centers. And when was that? 2000 and shit, no, 90, 1998. Ooh, we, I'm a founding member of the community justice center starting in Burlington and around that. Look at the community justice center. Wow, gigantic. You know, we got restorative justice panels, COSA, what kind of cool thing that's in Burlington, ran by Rachel, my dear friend, Rachel Jolly. She's the bomb. I really appreciate her for doing the work she does. It takes a lot. You have some, you have, man, you got to have some heart. You got to you check your emotions, man, for a lot of things that happens with your community justice center. People come in from high risk environments, people come through from jails, people have drug issues. And a lot of them fall right through, come right in and COSA or the Rubber Store Justice Panels. And I think now we have like um, 13 community centers around the state or something like that. Maybe more. But I, I was one of the founding members. Well, anyways, and like I say, no, people don't know all these things about me. People know, I have talked about lots of people like, I've heard your name. I, I know you from somewhere. Else. And um, I don't, I can't begin to start where they might know me from or, or anything, you know. But I will say this that, um, CCTV TV, CCTV uh, media, it's Channel 17, town, town meeting, has been our partner since, good Lord, for mine. I've been working with them since 2001. And um, they say my show have the long, have the been the longest running shows out of all the shows. And I'm so excited about that. And that they gave me like four. I got like four awards from CCTV, man. Yeah. Oh man, you feel that? Wow. How good is that? You know. And and, and to me, I'm like, you know, I like to see other people get the awards and graduate from high school and college and get the job they need and um, get be better in the community. Don't use drugs no more. And that's what you know. That's what normally what I do. It's like the easiest thing I can do now that I have all these individuals who uh, works for us. So I think I'm going to sign off. You know, I think when you heard enough in my mouth, um, let me think about that. Think of anything else. Well, oh, let me give you a reminder. We're New Ski Center. Yeah. <laughs> it's like almost like 5,000 square feet. Gigantic. It's big, right? When it's, it's the only one. And uh, me and um, Dean James and our board of directors and oh, all opened up into space with the idea from King James. We got a boxing ring, that's his thing, you know? And fitness, man, he's trying to keep people fit, mind, body, and soul. And um, I've known King James for, oh, God, Lord, 20 years. So I don't know, I mean, a lot of years. And so this is what he's always been about. I think he won like three golden gloves and some. Incredible. So um, I'm happy to work with everybody on this project. And so when I, I got a little office, up, well, it's not, it's not a little office, a pretty big office, you know. And so I will be chilling up there doing my work, you know, work with the youth and family. And Ermila, Ermila is going to ask our youth director. She's so, gosh, she's smart as heck. She's working her master's degree, boy. Woo! Mellow, something else, man. So smart. She's already got the our youth pro our youth ideas together that she will present to the board. And which I'm like, I recruited her, so like whatever you say, her Miller, because you are you something else. I mean, you're you are like so smart, and she worked with you. She's been around you, and um, you know, she's from Nepal, man, Nepal. She's, so she's like she's been around in Vermont, I don't know, for a long time, but new American man, you know, who um is gonna work with us. She's also on the um advisory committee for our Miller 
for um, Chile County Regional Planning Equity Advisory Committee. And I think, and so I think she interns there as well. How could we, what could we do without her? And so you will meet her at this event. Um, what did I say? November 2nd, coming right up. Oh boy, coming right up. Um, from noon to 4 p.m., see some exhibitions, exhibitions, free food and refreshment. You know, you, you know, bring all the kids and family, find ways how you can help us sustain ourselves as well. And um, that's what we're trying to do here. So um, I'm going out. Thank you for tuning in to Bruce Wilson and Art So Wonderful Show. You know, yay, baby. If you have any questions or ideas, you can email me at artsowonderful.com. A-R-T-S-S-O wonderful.com. I mean, sorry. You can, you can go there too, but artsowonderful at gmail.com. Yeah, if you want to email me. Yeah. I'll ask your questions anytime. Hopefully you want to be a part of what we do. Hopefully you want to, you know, present some art. Because nothing to, oh, for, I can't even tune out because I got so much to say. Is that um we have, um, um I'm going to be having art in around that place. And so, um, I, so I'm going to be trying to figure out, I'm going to have our, our Miller will help me get art in there from individuals like you, you know, and it's like a pretty much showcase your art. You know, who knows, you know, I don't like want to sell it, you know, put Put a price tag on it or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But it's coming up soon. We're going to do it. I guarantee because art and music is, and fitness and healthy outlets is what makes the world go around. So thank you for letting me um, tune in today. And have a good rest of your day. Bye.